we are trying what I think is the very first large-scale citizen engineering project in the world. Now, we might find out why there's a reason that nobody's done this before, <laughs> but let's see. <laughs> um, but as part of uh, Manchester becoming uh, the first UK city to be European City of Science, we wanted to get the people of Manchester together. We wanted to, to get them involved in the science and the engineering that goes on in our, um, in our city. And I think it was only right that a city that has an international reputation for its science and for its music should join together in some sort of project. And so we're trying to get the scientists, the musicians, and the artists working together. So we're bringing technology, engineering, and music to life with our robot orchestra that's built together and made in Manchester. Now, these electronic brains in, in our robots will have many different, um, will look very, very different from a, a pocket size calculator size piece of electronics in Raspberry Pis, Arduinos, and things that younger people will be very comfortable with, to our electronic conductor, which is uh, made by the engineers at Siemens, which they've nicely called graphene, because it's going to be a good conductor. <laughs> <laughs> Engineering joke for you. <laughs> now, um, Siemens, the Siemens engineers have really embraced this project. It's, as an engineer myself, um, it's really taken me out of my comfort zone. We are effectively trying to do an engineering project in the way that you'd never approach an engineering project. There's no specification, there's no system engineer, there's no agreement about what we're going to do before we start this. What we've done is go out to the community and say, hey, we want to build a robot orchestra, let's design it together. So we're crowdsourcing this. But the engineers at Siemens have really embraced this, thankfully. It's taken them out of their comfort zone like it's taken me. But they've embraced it with such enthusiasm and approached it in a, such an innovative way that this project actually needs. And anyone and everyone is helping us to develop this project, this robot orchestra. From five-year-olds at school to 75-year-olds tinkering in their garage and everything in between. We want robots from everyone that look and do as many different things as we can. And here I have some examples uh, tonight. So what we have are this very first one here is the, a drum kit by Siemens, by the Siemens engineers. Now, you might normally find these things, which are electronic switches, um, in large-scale industry, small-scale industry as well. But we wanted to try and get them to create music. So let's see if you hear this drum beat. If anyone is a Freddie Mercury or a Queen fan, that would be good. When I showed that to a bunch of school children, they started to play um, and sing, we will rock you. I won't get you guys to do that, though. <laughs> but you can see it was the drum beat to, or you can hear it's the drum beat to, we will rock you. Um, the next one I want to show you is um, our floppy drive orchestra. Now, we wanted to have recycled components, recycled tech in our robot orchestra, and this epitomizes it. Um, thankfully, I'm talking to an audience that does remember floppy drives, which is good. <laughs> there are lots of audience that don't, which is very sad. <laughs> um, but here we have 16 floppy drives, and these things would have just been thrown out. No one would be using them. So a challenge was set, and um, a student uh, from Cardiff University um, took up the challenge and said, right, I'm going to try and create some music from this. So hopefully you'll... Um, hear this, all, all you'll be hearing now are the motors in the floppy drives moving. So they're 20-year-old motors just moving. If anyone likes the Rocky films, you might know this. <laughs> Thank you. 
this has a huge repertoire, so if anyone wants to have a look at it later, <laughs> feel free to look at it. But you can see what we're trying to do, hopefully. You can see that anything and everything is part of this. So we set um, the people of Manchester uh, and beyond uh, a challenge. If, if we can get floppy drives um, and switches that you'd normally find in industry to create music, what can you do? And boy, did they answer us. We've had everything from Pringle crisp containers with pencils to make drum beats. Um, we've had people hacking their keyboards. We've had um, a glockenspiel, which is going to be played uh, electronically. Um, no humans involved at all. And some of these will be downstairs if you haven't seen them already. Um, we've just had everything from school children, like I say, to 75 year old in, in their garage tinkering. And we've had industry involved in it as well. Um, these robots seem to be going places. These robots need passports because so many people are sort of like, we want this robot orchestra. We want it to, to come and uh, play with us. We've had um, the Metrolink, the tram system have donated some parts, so recycled tech. So we're going to have a, a robot which will have some um, Metrolink parts to it. Uh, we've had um, the WI, uh, the Women's Institute, are collecting and donating tech for us as well. Uh, we've just had so many different things. The very first performance of this will be in July during the ESOF conference that, that Nancy mentioned. And it will play a piece of music from the Halle. So Steve Pickett, who is the education director, has composed a beautiful piece of music. Um, to work alongside human musicians as well. And I just want to play you a little expert, excerpt of, of what the music will be. This is called Fanfare, the Robots Are Coming. <laughs> say that's challenging even for humans, never mind our robots. So we're having robots and um, human musicians playing together. And that will be the piece of music that, that you'll hear at uh, the ESOF uh, launch of, of the conference as well. So we want anything and everything in terms of our robots. 